Welcome back everyone, Patrick here. And in this next question, we have to state whether each of these points here lies on, within, or outside of the circle x squared plus y squared is equal to 40. So with this kind of question, what you wanna do is you wanna use this equation of a circle by plugging in these points and seeing how the left side relates to the right side. So if we plug in a point and then this left side over here ends up being greater than this right side or greater than this r squared, remember x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared, if this happens, then it means that the point is outside of the circle. Okay, if this here ends up being greater than the right side. Now, if the left side is equal to the right side, then it means that the point is on the circle. And then if the left side is less than the right side, then it means that the point is within the circle. And that's pretty much it. That's what you want to do. You want to plug in these points for x and y and then see how the left side relates to the right side. So if we plug in the first point, 3 and 6, so we'll have 3 squared plus 6 squared. And I'm just going to write this out for now. I'm not going to write an equal sign because we don't know if it's going to equal yet. So 3 squared plus 6 squared. That would give us 9 plus 36, which would give us 45. And notice how that is greater than 40. Left side is greater than the right side. So this point over here is going to be outside of the circle. What about 5 and negative root 15? So we'll have... 5 squared plus negative root 15 squared. So 5 squared would be 25. And then over here, a negative to the power of 2 gives us a positive, And then root 15 to the power of 2 would just give us 15. Right? Whenever you have a root squared, and that root can be plus or minus, well, it's just going to equal that value under the root. So that's what happened over here. And then notice that this is equal to 40, which is equal to the right side. Left side is equal to the right side. So this here, this point lies on the circle. And then finally, 4, negative 2. You can kind of see with the numbers already what's going to happen. These numbers are fairly small, so 20 is going to be less than. 40. And so this point over here is going to lie uh, within the circle. Graphically, if you were to draw this, right, what would the radius be? It would be the square root of 40, which would be approximately, what, 6 point something? So if we draw a circle, Right, this is going to be root 40, this is going to be root 40, this is going to be root 40 and 0 if we put the whole coordinate, this here is going to be 0, root 40, this here is going to be negative root 40 and 0, and then this over here is going to be 0, negative root 40. And so if we were to plot these points, 3, would be somewhere here, but then six would actually be outside. So that point would be somewhere like there, let's say. Five negative root 15, we said that that's gonna be on the circle. So five negative root 15, that's gonna be, let's say like over here, right? Like positive five negative root 15. And then four and uh, negative two, that's gonna be like over here. So that's gonna be within the circle, right? So you can show this both algebraically, you could also show it graphically.